Control report. Hull sections 82 and 85 are taking in water. Generators 3 and 4 temporarily disabled. I'll put repair crews on it on a double. Report back when the damage is under control. Aye, sir. What in blazes was that? Uh, I don't know. Huh. Amrak doesn't give us any answers either. Chief. Anything on what caused that? Afraid not. The radiation count is up a bit, but nothing to worry about. Mm. Well, there's nothing here either, sir. No indication of previous seismic disturbances. It uh, doesn't look like an underwater earthquake. Well, in other words, uh, all indications are that nothing happened. But we all know that something did. Mm -hmm. Admiral, uh, why don't I take out the flying sub and scout up ahead? We might be able to see what's going on. Well, might as well have a crack at it. I'm not very happy about unexplained explosions knocking us about. <laughs> Control, sir. We're in full flood in hull section 85. Main power generator circuits are blown. How long to regain power and repair the damage? Approximately two hours, sir. All right, give us all the emergency power you've got. And hop to on the repairs. Yeah, check our situation. We're on a jagged bed of rocks. One third of the bow section is clear of the bottom. Mm. Let us see what we can find out, Lee. Chief, prepare the flying sub for immediate launch. Aye, sir. Come on, Ski. Right. I'm not sure I know what we're looking for. Neither am I. Well, any idea what could have caused those shocks, sir? A non -ski. All I know is that it felt like some kind of a pressure impact. That's right, like depth charges going off. There's only one thing wrong with that theory. Yeah, I know. There's nobody around here dropping ash cans on us. some distance off. Getting a reading on sonar? Yes, sir. 20 degrees to starboard. What tracking fix do you have for the flying sub? Uh, approximately the same, sir. Bearing 105. See to the flying sub. See you to flying sub. Come in, over. Flying sub, are we getting through to you? This is the flying sub. We read you. What happened? 
We've been hit. The same kind of pressure impact that hit the sea view. It nearly tore us apart. What about your maneuverability? Lee, can you hear me? Are you still under control? Yes, partially. We've lost about 60% maneuverability. Find out where the impact came from? No. We had no visual sighting or instrumentation warning. All right, it may hit again, so we turn to sea view. We'll try to make emergency repairs, and we can still scout the area. Negative. Sea view is on the bottom. We can't afford to lose your mobility, too. Roger. We'll come about in a birthing pattern as soon as we're able to. <laughs> Nelson to flying sub. Nelson to flying sub. Can you hear me? What did that last impact do to you? Come in, please. Come in. Flying sub. If you hear me at all, come in. I'll leave this estimate on repairs. 30 minutes to get emergency power. I'll cut it in half. Aye, aye, sir. Damage control is the exact. We must have maneuvering power in 15 minutes, no longer. That's an order. So good, suppose you and me hit those circuits and see what we can do about getting this off. Uh, get to it, Chief. Hmm? I'll see if I can raise the seat. FS1 calling Seaview. FS1 calling Seaview. Come in, come in. FS1 calling Seaview. FS1 calling Seaview. Come in. Do you read me? F. Chief, look. Take a look out. What? What is this, Skipper? I just saw something out there. There's nothing out there. There was a second ago. What was it, Skipper? Some kind of a... A creature. At least I thought I saw one. Well, maybe it was a uh, shadow or something, but there's nothing out there right now. Yeah, I guess not. Now, what's our situation? Well, sir, not too bad. That is, from a power standpoint. Well, what do you mean? I think we can jump some circuit breakers and get the emergency power on, but we've got another problem. Kowalski spotted it. Yes, sir. When we were slammed against the bottom, one of our mechanical claws was sprung and jammed open. Looks like we're stuck here unless we can free it. Now, if you like, I can suit up and go out and see what I can do about fixing it. Now, very well. That's a good idea. Chief, you and I will make the necessary repairs. Aye, sir. Pressure impacts, and we'll be down here for a long, long time. Let's get with it. All right, sir. Come in, Skipper, quick. There's something out here. I think it's a thing you saw earlier through the viewport. Where is it, Skitty? Can you give me a fix on it? It's just off to starboard, sir. 
All right, keep your eyes open. Aye, sir. You see? There was something out there. What do you what do you think it is? Could have been a fish. Or a man, maybe a little of each. Sounds like Kowalski's in a tough spot. You want me to go out and help? No, let's get the flying sub operable. That thing is responsible for those impact shots. We'd better get ready to pick up Kowalski and get out of here. All right, sir. switch across the circuit breakers and plug in the power. We're not ready yet. Well, I will blow the emergency reactor. Throw it. We have to go after him. I see. Seems to be holding. Yeah. All right, let's go. So, can't go claw you. Uh, it's coming from down there. Pressure impacts. Small ones like the, the ones that knocked us out. Damage control, what's our power status now? Temporary repairs just completed. We can give you about one-third power. Good. Now get us off the bottom and head for the flying sub chip. Ah, uh, sir. Blow all forward ballast tanks. Up bubble, 10 degrees. Aye, sir. All ahead, one-third. Come to course, one, zero, five, relative. Aye, sir. There will be communication. It will, however, take the form of commands from us to you. Who are you? We are amphibians. When life first evolved on this planet, all of it was amphibious. We took a different evolutionary path than you humans did. You mean you've existed as long as the human race? Ten times longer. In an underwater civilization of our own, deep within the Earth. He's, he's got to be kidding. There's no such thing. You see the living proof before you. Yeah. You talk like us. How come? Just as you have analyzed the lower animal kingdoms, we amphibians have studied you land animals. Then you regard us as animals. What else are you? As far as we are concerned, you are a subspecies to be used and discarded at our will. I don't like the way he says that, sir. It does not matter what you dislike or like. You are going to do as we say. Yeah? I guess that depends on the skipper, doesn't it? No. Your lives may be valuable to you, but they are meaningless to us. I would as soon take it now. All right. What do you want from us? 
You have a force of power which enables both this and your larger ship to move through the waters. It must be very strong. Our nuclear reactor. Whatever name you give it. You will show us how to harness this power to our sonic cannon. Sonic cannon? Is that what you used against the sea view and the flying sub? Yes, and to blast the passageway through the bottom of the sea in this area. With your power harnessed to it, we can control the seas of the world. You'll get no cooperation from us. We will. As I said, you will cooperate. I promise you. Give you the flying sub. Save you the flying sub. We're proceeding toward you with all possible speed. Guard them. Learn what you can of this mechanism. The great ship is approaching, and I have things to do. Better take a look at this, sir. Mm. Something there, all right, but it's a pattern I've never seen before. Neither have I, and I wasn't there a minute ago. Take a look on the monitor. It looks like some kind of mine. Uh, I wonder if, uh... Sir? We're picking up a strange sound. It's coming from that object up ahead. I put it through the speaker. Aye, sir. All stop. All stop. I think it's a sonic pressure mine. It operates on a reflecting sonar system. The sound we hear of the waves it's sending out. Then if we get close enough. That's right. My sound vibrations have caused it to blow. Something's affecting it now. Probably too close. Move us astern to a well away from it. All astern, slow. Stop engines. We hung up on something? No, sir. All right, try it again this time. Slow. All astern, slow. Aye, sir. Cut engines. Cut engines. Aye, sir. We're locked in tight by that thing, and we're too close to blow it up. What we do now is go out and try to disarm it by hand. still have to get out of here and find Kowalski. Yes, sir. Stun gun. Ready. Go 
up here. <laughs> Come on, let's give him a hand. <laughs> Those things, I, I managed to break away, but oh, they got a whole setup in their rock cluster. Caves going down in the earth, communication systems, a sonic gun. It works. They want to take us over, Skipper. We, we got to do something to stop them. We, we got to. We... Now, take it easy, Kowalski. Just take it easy. We'll take care of them as soon as we get back to the sea view. Now get out of your wits. We can't help the flying sub till, till we disarm the mine. But can we get through the sensing devices, sir? Well, the deflection shield may help us for a little while. If we can find the trigger mechanism and remove it, we might stand a chance. Control to missile room. Sonar is picking up increasing activity from that mine out there. I don't think you're going to be able to make it before that thing blows, sir. Look, we have to make it. We're going out now. Aye, sir. Deflecting shield topside? Yes, sir. All right, let's go. We're okay, Skipper. The mechanical claw is fully retracted. Good. What about the radio? No good. The circuits are completely burnt out. We can't contact CV. Oh, no problem. They'll pick us up on the scanners when we come into berth. Aye, sir. That's the flying sub returning. Keep me informed of any unexpected maneuver. Sea view to FS1. Urgent. Sea view to FS1. Emergency. Emergency. Come in, please. Come in. Steady. Let's see if I can find out what makes this bomb tick. Hold the shield steady. Hi, sir. But she's bucking like a bronco. Sea view to FS1. Emergency. Emergency. Do you hear me? Admiral, this is Morton. Come in, please. Come in. We read you, Chip. What is it? We've picked up the flying sub in the scanner. She's heading right for the sea view, sir. You sure about that? Positive. We can't reach her by radio. And if she goes close enough so that the sonic mind picks up her vibrations... I know. I know. How much time do we have? Possibly two minutes, three at the most. You better get back aboard while you still have a chance. Too late for that. We'll have to disarm this mine before the flying sub sets it off. Out. <laughs> I've located a cap. It could be a booby trap. Yes, it could be. But we'll know for sure in just a minute. Come in, Admiral. What is it, Chip? Our reading shows extreme danger. The intensity range is almost off the dial. I know, but I've got to disarm it or all go up and smoke. Of course, sir. What is that, sir? A sonic capacitor connected to the detonating fuse. Admiral, she's going to blow. All right, get out of here.
explosion. The mine must have gone off. Only the detonation fuse, Chip. We'd already designed the mine itself, and we're in the lee of a rock formation when the fuse went off. We got knocked around a bit, but the rocks broke the force. <coughs> That's good news, sir. Are you coming in? We'll be right there. Meanwhile, continue observations for any more of those mines. And let me know what goes on with Captain Crane. Aye, aye, sir. Get back to see you. I'll follow with the shield. Aye, sir. Just what is that thing, Admiral? It looks more fish than human, but it's human enough to have a pretty good brain. After all, some of its kind built that sonic mine. Admiral, this is Morton. The flying sub is coming in for berthing, sir. Be right there, Chip. Well, uh, take that, um, well, take him to the brig and uh, post the guard. Aye, right, sir. All right, let's go, you guys. Get him to sick bay. Aye, sir. Give me a hand, sailor. What happened, Lee? We had a little brush with the cause of all our troubles. Oh, the amphibians. Do you know about them? We have one in the brig right now. And there's a lot more where that one came from. They used a, a sonic cannon to open a partial passageway from the caves below. And they're only waiting for a chance to take over the ship. Mm -hmm. Already a salvo of torpedoes, nuclear warheads. That should take care of their passageway and their cannon. Yes, but what if they intercept with their sonic weapons the nuclear blast would blow us out of the water? Not if I come up with a neutralizing device. Uh, see with the torpedoes, I'll be in my lap. Look, I, uh, I don't have to bunk down here. I'm, I'm perfectly all right. <laughs> well, sure you are, sure. I know that kid, and you know that, and, uh, and then the corpsman knows that. Only the exec said it's sick bay for you, and sick bay it is. All right. I know it's sick bay, but I, I still think I should be helping to do something about those amphibians. Not a chance. By the time you be getting out of here, we'll have the situation well in hand, and we'll be on our way back home. So don't worry about anything. Chief Sharkey, return to the missile room on the double. Prepare nuclear torpedoes for firing. See what I told you? We're going to have the situation well in hand. Yeah. Yeah, well, listen. Get some rest, kid. Come on. Relax, kid. I'll be back in a minute. I'll get something to put you to sleep. Take your time. I'll be asleep before you get back.
Ski, what are you doing out of bed? I'm okay. Come on, let me help you. I tell you, I'm all right. Look, you were ordered to bed, and that's where you stay. Come on. Okay, okay. What's wrong? Take it easy. Take it easy, buddy. Sorry, Kowalski. I'm okay now. You, you can let me loose. Oh, I can't take the chance. <laughs> Something came over me before. It. It's gone now. Maybe. <laughs> All I need is a little rest and I'll be fine. Just a catnap and I'll be raring to go. Give me a shot, make sure you sleep. I don't need any shot! Oh, come on, it's not gonna hurt. <laughs> yeah. Okay, you guys. Let's get this last one in nice and easy. Come on, on and up. Missile room to control. Sharky reporting. Torpedo tubes, one, two, three, and four, ready to fire in salvo. Good work, Chief. Now, here are your firing coordinates. L-23, R-62, vectors intersection 19 and 31. Intersect vectors 19, 31. Very well. Now, set your controls and stand by to fire. Aye, sir. Stand by the fire. Ready to fire, sir. Fire one and three. Missile room. Missile room, what went wrong down there? Missile room, this is the captain report. Damage control. Send a repair party down to the missile room on the double. Damage control, aye. Admiral, we're having trouble in the missile room. A bad explosion. 
How did you handle it? I sent a repair party down there. I'll brief you as soon as they get a report. Now, what's the status on the neutralizer? Well, I'm still working on it. I, I don't know how much time we'll have. You'd better hurry up with those repairs. Very well. Chip, take the con. <coughs> responded well to our method of conversion. You will make a good amphibian. You did your work well here. Can the power of the nuclear reactor be brought into this room? Yes, through those cables. How can we bring the sonic cannon aboard? Through the main hatch. This controls it and the hoist. Good. We'll bring the cannon aboard and place it there. But first, you will free our other comrade from imprisonment. Then he will assist us. It'll be done. Now, who has the knowledge to connect the sea view power to my sonic cannon? Admiral Nelson. I want to see him. Missile to control. Chief, what happened? You wouldn't believe me if I told you. Come on. I'm telling you for the last time. Stop shaking those bars or I'll... Hey, how's it going? Now, he's trying to shake those bars apart, but uh, otherwise no trouble. Good, good. Uh, listen, you can cut out and I'll take over the watch. Hey, hold it, Ski. What's the matter? Well, you know you're not authorized to relieve me. Well, I know that, but uh, I'm relieving you because the chief told me to. Why didn't you say so? Well, I didn't know you were a Philadelphia lawyer. Since when have you started going by the book? Now that you mention it, let's see your authorization. For Pete's sake, give me the gun. Keep away. No authorization, no gun. Okay, meathead, okay. If, um, if I call the chief and he tells you personally, will you accept that without a blue ribbon document? Sure. Okay. Kowalski calling Chief Sharkey. Kowalski calling Chief Sharkey. Come in, Chief. Here, you try it. All right, give me that time. I'll give it to you, buddy. Right in the chops! Good for a primitive effort. You will be useful in harnessing your reactor to my sonic cannon. You will also make a valuable addition to our community of amphibians. You cannot resist us. We have a superior technology. I control the sea view. I now control you.
what you want. Your knowledge. We wish to harness our sonic cannon to your nuclear reactor so we can blast open the ocean bottom and free all others like us. You, you, des you destroy the world. We will risk that. We must be free. Nelson to control room. Nelson to control room. Control room I, sir. Chip, where's Captain Crane? Uh, he went after the missile room to check out the damage, sir. All right, listen to me. We've been invaded by amphibians. Meet me in the pressure hatch corridor on the double. All right. <laughs> Let's tie them up and, and get them out of the way so they won't interfere when we bring the sonic cannon aboard. Kowalski! What happened down here? Happened, sir? I don't know what you mean. The explosion. Something went wrong when I gave the order to fire those torpedoes, and I want to know what. All right, Kowalski, what's going on? Why, nothing, sir. Just a little, um, little explosion when we tried to fire those torpedoes. You're supposed to be in sick bay. Where's the chief? And what happened to these men? They tried to interfere with us. Interfere? What the devil are you talking about? Amphibians. I'm one of them now, and we're taking over. Uh, Kowalski, I don't know what's going on with you. But I order you to go back to sick bay on the double. with the others. You and I will start getting the cannon aboard. Oh, Mr. Morton, the amphibians are in the missile room, and Kowalski is one of them. Sir, I was just telling Mr. Morton about the amphibians. Yeah, I, I know, I know. They're going to use their cannon to open a passage to the Earth's crust. Aboard this ship, they'll blast a hole right through the bottom of Seaview. That's why we have to destroy that gun in the missile room. Uh, Admiral, one minor question. If they have the cannon in there, how do we get in without being blasted ourselves? We hit them from two sides. Chip, you and Sharky go in through the hatchway door. Paris and I will swim outside the sub and come into the escape hatch. Here, use this like a machine pistol. It's good against the hand weapons. They move at exactly, uh, 1,500 hours. All right? Let's go. Yes, sir. It will do you no good to refuse, Captain. You experienced our powers aboard your flying submarine. You don't really expect me to cooperate, do you? Kowalski could tell you better than that. Not this time, Captain. You have no choice. We're going to use that cannon and free the rest of us and take over the seas. You can't be that far gone, Kowalski. You're still a member of the crew, no matter what they've done to you. Now fight it, man. Fight it. Come on. That's no good. In a little while, I'll be completely like they are. Strong and powerful. And nobody can stand up against us. Nobody! You're talking nonsense and you know it! No, he's right. If you agree willingly, so much the better. If not, you know the power of this. You'll do as we say.
trying to come in. It will do them no good. We can't get through those pressure blasts there, sir. We'll get through. Get some MX-12 explosive. We'll blow that hatch open. Why is it... Listen carefully. When we come out of the escape hatch, you go to the right, I'll go to the left. I'll give them a moving target. One of us might make it, then. I'll right, have a chance. If I get into the open, should I go for the gun or for the amphibian? I'll play it by ear. If you can block him off and get me a chance at the gun, fine. If not, go for it yourself. I understand, sir. certain the full power from your reactor will be employed. Three stages are connected. Any more and the cannon itself would explode. Kowalski, you can't do this. You'll blow the sea view apart when you fire it. You forget I'm amphibian now. It won't bother me if we all sink to the bottom. Help me aim it. I want to free all of my people as soon as possible. It's aimed and ready. Then I will trigger it. No, you can't do this. Kowalski, stop him! Stop him! Some swimmers are coming in. The Admiral undoubtedly tried a two-way attack upon us, but he is too late. to believe it's all over. When they fire that cannon in the missile room, the whole world seemed to explode. I was sure it was all over for us, too. Well, thanks to Lee, it wasn't. When he rolled over those cables and shorted them out, only the firing mechanism blew. And the lead is destroyed now, too. And by the same weapon he was going to use against us. That's kind of an ironic justice. Sometimes I wonder if the world isn't well balanced in that direction. I beg your pardon, sir? Uh, how are you feeling, Kowalski? Well, that's why I'm here, sir. Doc's discharged me. He said all the effects of that amphibian conversion are gone. Well, that's good news. Oh, yes, sir. I've, uh, I've been assigned light duty for the present, sir. The chief thought you might be interested in that. Oh? Why? Well, I'm working in mess tonight. We're, um... We're having fish in the menu, sir.
Damage control, report. Hull sections 82 and 85 are taking in water. Generators 3 and 4 temporarily disabled. Oh, put repair crews on it on a double. Report back when the damage is under control. Aye, sir. What in blazes was that? Uh, I don't know. Hamrak huh. like doesn't give us any answers either. Chief, anything on what caused that? Afraid not. The radiation count is up a bit, but nothing to worry about. Mm. Well, there's nothing here either, sir. No indication of previous seismic disturbances. It doesn't look like an underwater earthquake. Well, in other words, uh, all indications are that nothing happened, but we all know that something did. Mm -hmm. uh, why don't I take out the flying sub and scout up ahead? We might be able to see what's going on. Well, might as well have a crack at it. I'm not very happy about unexplained explosions knocking us about. <laughs> Control, sir. We're in full flood in hull section 85. Main power generator circuits are blown. Uh, how long to regain power and repair the damage? Approximately two hours, sir. All right, give us all the emergency power you've got. And hop to on the repairs. Uh, check our situation. We're on a jagged bed of rocks. One third of the bow section is clear of the bottom. Mm. Let us see what we can find out, Lee. Chief, prepare the flying sub for immediate launch. Aye, sir. Come on, Ski. Right. I'm not sure I know what we're looking for. Neither am I. What any idea what could have caused those shocks, sir? A non -ski. All I know is that it felt like some kind of a pressure impact. That's right, like depth charges going off. There's only one thing wrong with that theory. Yeah, I know. There's nobody around here dropping ash cans on us. Some distance off. Getting a reading on sonar? Yes, sir. 20 degrees to starboard. What tracking fix do you have for the flying sub? Uh, approximately the same, sir. Bearing 105. See to the flying sub. See you to flying sub. Come in, over. Flying sub, are we getting through to you? This is the flying sub. We read you. What happened? We've been hit. The same kind of pressure impact that hit the sea view. It nearly tore us apart. What about your maneuverability? Lee, can you hear me? Are you still under control? Yes, partially. We've lost about 60% maneuverability. Find out where the impact came from? No. We had no visual sighting or instrumentation warning. I may hit again, so return to sea view. 
We'll try to make emergency repairs. We can still scout the area. Negative. Sea view is on the bottom. We can't afford to lose your mobility, too. Roger. We'll come about in a birthing pattern as soon as we're able to. <laughs> Nelson to flying sub. Nelson to flying sub. Can you hear me? What did that last impact do to you? Come in, please. Come in. Flying sub. If you hear me at all, come in. I'll leave this estimate on repairs. 30 minutes to get emergency power. I'll cut it in half. Aye, aye, sir. Damage control is the exact. We must have maneuvering power in 15 minutes, no longer. That's an order. So good, suppose you and me hit those circuits and see what we can do about getting this off. Uh, get to it, Chief. Mm -hmm. I'll see if I can raise this Come on. You. FS1 calling Seaview. FS1 calling Seaview. Come in, come in. FS1 calling Seaview. FS1 calling Seaview. Come in. Do you read me? F. Chief, look. Take a look out. What? What is this, Skipper? I just saw something out there. There's nothing out there. There was a second ago. What was it, Skipper? Some kind of a... A creature. At least I thought I saw one. Well, maybe it was a uh, shadow or something, but there's nothing out there right now. Yeah, I guess not. Now, what's our situation? Well, sir, not too bad. That is, from a power standpoint. Well, what do you mean? I think we can jump some circuit breakers and get the emergency power on, but we've got another problem. Kowalski spotted it. Yes, sir. When we were slammed against the bottom, one of our mechanical claws was sprung and jammed open. Looks like we're stuck here unless we can free it. Now, if you like, I can suit up and go out and see what I can do about fixing it. Now, very well. That's a good idea. Chief, you and I will make the necessary repairs. Aye, sir. pressure impacts, and we'll be down here for a long, long time. Let's get with it. All right, sir. Come in, Skipper, quick. There's something out here. I think it's the thing you saw earlier through the viewport. Where is this key? Can you give me a fix on it? It's just off to starboard, sir. All right, keep your eyes open. Aye, sir. You see? There was something out there. What do you what do you think it is? Could have been a fish or a man, maybe a little of each. 
It sounds like Kowalski's in a tough spot. You want me to go out and help? No, let's get the flying sub operable. That thing is responsible for those impact shots. We'd better get ready to pick up Kowalski and get out of here. All right, sir. switch across the circuit breakers and plug in the power. We're not ready yet. Well, I will blow the emergency reactor. Throw it. We have to go after him. I see. Seems to be holding. Yeah. All right, let's go. So, can't go claw you. Huh. It's coming from down there. Pressure impacts. Small ones like the, the ones that knocked us out. Damage control, what's our power status now? Temporary repairs just completed. We can give you about one-third power. Good. Now get us off the bottom and head for the flying sub chip. Ah, uh, sir. Blow all forward ballast tanks. Up bubble, 10 degrees. Aye, sir. All ahead, one-third. Come to course, one, zero, five, relative. Aye, sir. There will be communication. It will, however, take the form of commands from us to you. Who are you? We are amphibians. When life first evolved on this planet, all of it was amphibious. We took a different evolutionary path than you humans did. You mean you've existed as long as the human race? Ten times longer. In an underwater civilization of our own, deep within the Earth. He's, he's got to be kidding. There's no such thing. You see the living proof before you. Yeah. You talk like us. How come? Just as you have analyzed the lower animal kingdoms, we amphibians have studied you land animals. Then you regard us as animals. What else are you? As far as we are concerned, you are a subspecies to be used and discarded at our will. I don't like the way he says that, sir. It does not matter what you dislike or like. You are going to do as we say. Yeah? I guess that depends on the skipper, doesn't it? No. Your lives may be valuable to you, but they are meaningless to us. I would as soon take it now. All right. What do you want from us? You have a force, a power, which enables both this and your larger ship to move through the waters. It must be very strong. Our nuclear reactor. Whatever name you give it. You will show us how to harness this power to our sonic cannon. Sonic cannon? Is that...